The Rain Podcast Business Summit is next Tuesday in New York in the US, focusing on unlocking the podcast mainstream. There are great speakers, including Google's Zach Renault Widin, NPR's Joel Zuckerman, and Edison Research's Tom Webster. We'll be there, and you can be too. We give you a Pod News exclusive link to get 50% off the ticket price in our show notes and in our newsletter. Spotify wants a senior development executive to oversee our exclusive content strategy, they say, for the sports category. Hmm. Dr. Phil wants to produce a true crime podcast. He's already producing Fill in the Blanks, and apparently Apple flew some of its staff in to help his team launch it. Wondery has launched Wondery Plus, promising early access, ad-free listening and exclusive content for five US dollars a month. Seth Godin lists five reasons you might want to start a podcast. Interestingly, none of the reasons are anything to do with the listener. Ivux, a Spanish podcast host, has managed to temporarily extend a license it has with the Spanish music industry to let you use commercial music on their podcasts. As we go to press, Global, the largest commercial radio company in the UK, have announced plans to make over 100 radio presenters redundant by networking breakfast shows across the country and some drive shows too. Marco Arment has accused NPR of being, quote, empty and naive about the aims of their RAD podcast analytics program and claimed it's all about ad tracking. And Joan Warner, Commercial Radio Australia's CEO, has responded to our editor's comments yesterday. They were mine. Our submission, she says, does not propose restricted access to podcasts. Podcasting has grown and thrived because of access via a multitude of third-party podcast apps. This quote directly contradicts her quote, which we published yesterday. In our newsletter and in our show notes, we publish three podcasts, including Should This Exist, Scam Wow, and Podrunner, a workout music podcast celebrating 13 years as a podcast this week.